of the month. Georgia Congressman Buddy Carter will attend tomorrow's inauguration, saying it is important for members of both parties to be there. As News 3's Joanne Merrigan tells us, the longtime Republican says he hopes lawmakers focused on unity in the days ahead. I didn't vote for Joe Biden. I didn't support him or Kamala Harris, but they are going to be our president and vice president. I accept that. I acknowledge that. First District Congressman Buddy Carter is talking unity, but also throwing out some criticism. And I want to find common ground with them, unlike the Democrats who never accepted Donald J. Trump, who impeached, tried to impeach him twice, the last time on his way out the door. While Carter says there will be a new administration, he also says the country is divided and says the scenes in the nation's capital right now are a tragic reminder of it. And I'm sure everyone's seen it on TV. The optics are not good at all. So for a country like ours, a democracy like ours, to have to have eight-foot fences with razor wire at the top, Perhaps it is a little bit of overkill. I don't know. But I will tell you, that January 6th, we weren't prepared. We should have been better prepared. Carter says despite any security issues, it is important to attend the inauguration. But certainly I wish that the president had, President Trump had participated. I think that would have been the right thing to do, but that was his decision. And while he says he accepts the results of the election, Carter also still defends his decision to challenge some votes. Do you regret your decision not to support the Electoral College in view of the fact that so many Republicans still don't believe that Biden was elected? No. I do not regret my decision to oppose the certification of the electoral votes in the state of Georgia. Carter saying many Republicans still have concerns about election integrity, but acknowledged the election is over. So we go forward. We move forward. And that's what we do in this country. Joanne Merrigan, WSAV News 3, on your side.